scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In this kingdom, we not only hear, we hear and see. Is that true? Acts chapter 8 from verse 5. Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ unto them, the Bible says. Verse 6, the Bible says, And the people with one accord gave heed to those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing. In this kingdom, we don't hear alone. God can lift. God can bless. God can change stories. We need to see. You both hear and see. For some of you, people have only heard of what God can do through you. In this season, they will begin to see it. Very quickly, I'm not going to explain it. I'll just give it out very quickly because there's something I want us to press on. There are four keys. Four keys that are responsible for spiritual empowerment. You want to encounter the anointing? There are four keys. Four demands. And then I will now teach you how to receive. Are you ready? Number one consecration and intimacy with God the first requirement if it is genuine power you want the power of consecration and intimacy with God first John chapter 2 please from verse 15 please hurry up hurry up first John love not the world neither the things that are in the world can you imagine that to receive the power that gives you everything you need to lose the passion for everything that is in the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Now, look at this kind of, look at this thing now. It says, love not the world is the word eros many theologians and many people have mistaken this to mean don't love prosperity don't love increase that's not what the bible is teaching the word love is the word eros that means an ungodly affinity an attachment towards things that takes the place of christ in your life are you getting the point now god is not against us prospering god is not against us having influence what he is against is exalting those things and having an obsession that it dethrones christ in your life any kind of money that jesus must be dethroned for you to have it is useless any kind of lifting that jesus must be dethroned for you to have it is useless anything god gives satan will try to give it to you too but the condition is bow down and worship me that was what he brought to jesus the three hebrew boys remember satan is obsessed with worship transgenerational allegiance do you know the reason why god cannot trust many people with his anointing is because they are not set apart to look beyond themselves and to see jesus lifted I think it was in Lagos or so I was teaching was it yesterday now or day before yesterday and I was telling them I said you know not every closed door is demonic 
there are certain doors is God that closed it by himself as an act of his mercy because he has weighed you and found out that if that door is opened the the existence of the flesh within you there are people no matter how they fast and pray for the prophetic they will not receive that grace do you know why because if you actually receive the creative dimension of the prophetic in anger you will cause and kill people because you are angry you will kill more dead bodies you will be cooperating with satan because of anger so god will rather withdraw it until that intimacy with the holy spirit and that transformation is there there are many people including preachers there are certain anointings if god gives you today you will not pray again why will you pray when people will travel from several nations and will pay everything to come and meet the great man of god apostle joshua selman what do you need prayer for again what do you need fasting for again can i tell you this if it is the anointing you want to receive is more than your money you can drop your seed and god says nonsense carry your money and go away it is your heart i'm looking for prayer and fasting is important but let me tell you before your prayer and fasting will make sense and have value in the spirit your heart condition must be right the desire and the desperation to see jesus revealed and glorified in your life do you know you always hear me give this example imagine that god opens your eyes to the prophetic and a millionaire or a billionaire billionaires are all over your church or your ministry you literally can look at them and god opens your eyes and you see what they have in their account you've already bought sharp sand to build your house and you are limited there's there's no money you've calculated everything your engineer has told you 300 million will build a solid structure for you and the people trust you that's when you will know whether you are saved or not because one spectacular prophetic word and you see human beings when they trust you they become vulnerable to you sincerely you can tell someone look you have one billion two hundred and fifty thousand ah yes that's true oh yeah the other part i won't touch the one billion but that other slice give on to caesar what you, know, you can twist anything and just because you are talking and the person is falling while you are talking does not mean it is god that is behind it you see i told you that you can misuse the anointing there is a level of charismatism that the anointing brings there is an aura it's a fragrance it can attract everything to you that is the reason why people have to be dead to self are we together consecration and intimacy proverbs 23 and verse 26 this has become an anthem in my life and i'm praying that someone will finally get that revelation please look up my son give me mine give me thine many people are giving god offerings many people are giving god pulpit god does not want your pulpit he's not looking for your offering your tithe all of those things are secondary let me tell you sincerely if you want power with god koinonia hear me what god wants is your heart i can tell you by the authority of scripture by the privilege of learning from the fathers and by my own experience if you are genuinely anointed genuinely anointed of God there is almost a godlike worship that people can bring around you because of the all surpassing manifestation of the excellency of God in your life even you sometimes you will look at yourself and say my God who am I I know what the anointing can do believe me and if you are not broken before God and especially our generation of ministers small grace here small anointing and that's it you see people misbehaving all around with the anointing small prophetic small apostolic and all kinds of things and god just withdraws the more he wants to give you because when god tests you with it you are rude you are lawless you are indisciplined you are you are you are rebellious you don't have any regard for authority god says no this little we've given this guy let's leave it there if we multiply this anointing 
you will kill everybody. It means people will start kneeling down, lick your shoe, worship you, call you king of kings, then they will receive healing and go. Another person will do that kind of thing. Go and read the stories of people, I'm not being sarcastic, who did not allow God to walk on their hearts. Preachers, let me encourage you, co-laborers in the gospel, let's be careful how we impart graces on people. Just because people are committed and their hearts are open does not mean they are prepared. Let God vet them so that you do not anoint people who will be a casualty to you and others. History has taught us a lesson. Anointing people unprepared will always lead to casualty. We are all students in the school of the spirit. Don't get me wrong. It's like carrying your car and giving your 12 or 13 year old child. The way children are brilliant now, one can even drive with his eyes closed. Children are, have mastered the art of surprising everybody. But the chances are excellent that that child, he will most likely be the only one with that car among his contemporaries. And his pride, not incompetence, that will kill that child. Do you know what it means to carry the grace that grants you access to the destinies, the loyalty, the finances of people? It was a father in the Lord, Baba Adeboye, who made a statement one time. And he said, by the grace of God, if he needs a shirt today by the privilege of the influence God has given him he can make one statement and say brethren I need a shirt and he said literally without exaggeration his size can finish in the market because everyone will want to go and do you know what it means to have that level of influence don't tell me I will be fine are you seeing why God works on our hearts you can speak to someone and say in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord lift you and in two weeks he comes back he has become a billionaire and the person comes to you as a billionaire and say man of God I'm still your boy oh good news to the ear of a preacher a billionaire is your boy are you learning tonight while you are laughing please make sure you understand what I'm saying God demands death to the flesh if you must carry genuine power Billionaire is your boy and can say, sir, it looks like you are not happy. Is there any problem? What can I do for you? And Satan comes to stand by you and says, is this how you are going to allow? Remember your childhood. Remember how you suffered. Now is your chance. And yet the spirit of God tells you, do not touch one naira from that man. Rather, sow into his life and bless him. And you say, I reject that spirit, that, that the spirit that is not an economist, to use your brain and know that this will flow from, I mean. Hmm. Can you be so anointed that God places you in the midst of greatness and you still have self-control? There are many wealthy people today who run away from churches, respectfully speaking, because they won't let them rest. Once the preacher is preaching, he's looking at everybody, but they know who he's talking to. And the people say, please, it's not a cause to be blessed. That's why most people don't testify. Because they know it's a risk. Oh, this is what God has done. We just floated two aircraft, I mean, one estate and all of that, and the preacher is clapping. And the man knows exactly what that clap means <laughs> see I, I made a vow and a covenant that by the privilege of God's grace I'm not saying it by the strength of the flesh this ministry will never inconvenience anybody because of tea and bread if God will not provide the wisdom to fund this assignment I will honorably go back home and sit down it's better to sit down and not do ministry but have your integrity are we together now consecration and intimacy with God number two what is the second key that governs the manifestation of the anointing in your life honor to the Word of God if you do not live by the principles of the kingdom honor to the Word of God if you do not live by the principles of the kingdom you will never access the anointing please write it very quickly honor to the Word of God in Proverbs 23 Verse 22, the B part where we just read. He said, my son, give me thine heart 
Proverbs 23, 26. It says, and let your ears, your eyes observe my ways. John chapter 1 and verse 3. John chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, and without him, the word, all things were made by the word. And without him, the word was not anything made that was made. Are we together? Even the power of God hides in his word. Habakkuk chapter 3. It's become an anthem here too. Habakkuk chapter 3. We'll start from verse 3 and 4. God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Verse 4. I wish we could have verse 4 in Amplified. Otherwise, no problem. It says, and his brightness was as the light. It says, rays streamed from his hand and there in that sun-like splendor was the hiding place of his power there is a relationship between the word of god and the power of god the second key is honor to the word of god i submit to you that i have a problem with people who manifest power and i cannot see in their lives honor for the word of god and the principles of the kingdom if you manifest power and you do not have honor for the word of God, you deserve to be suspected. Are we together? Because it's like seeing somebody with a child who you never saw pregnancy. Are we together? Your stomach was as flat as my own now and then immediately you just drag a child. No, we have a right to say whose child is this? And it's not maybe surrogacy or anything. You say it's my child that was pregnant. We need to examine that kind of pregnancy. That's how the word is and miracles on the supernatural. If you do not have honor to the word of God, we look at your life and we do not see that you understand the word of God. Believe me, do not blame people if they suspect the manifestations that come through your life. The word of God gives credence to the outworkings of his power in your life. Are we together? number three what is the third key that controls spiritual empowerment prayer with fasting for me it's not just prayer and fasting it is prayer with fasting the emphasis is prayer the fasting is an accelerator prayer with fasting luke chapter 4 very quickly we'll look at verse 1 and 2 then we'll go to 14 and 15 Luke chapter 2, Luke chapter 4, 1 and 2. The Bible talks about Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. So he was full of the Holy Ghost. He returned from Jordan and he was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Verse 2. It says, being 40 days tempted of the devil. And the Bible says, in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he was afterwards hungry. Let's jump for the sake of time to verse 14. You know his temptation, the three temptations and all of that. And the Bible says, Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went about a fame all the regions round about. 15. It says, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. If you want to walk in genuine spiritual power, the facilitator of the anointing is prayer with fasting. There is nobody I know who genuinely commands the supernatural who is not a student of prayer with fasting. There are wrong fasts. There are religious prayers and fasting that does not carry any power. It's just a show of religiosity with no, it's just for health benefits. But there is the kind of fast God has commanded. And then according to James chapter 5, there is the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man that avails much. It, it has tremendous power. Dynamic in its working, Amplified says. Right for reference, James 5 from verse 13 to 18. James 5, 13 to 18. Are we together?
the last now the last key are you ready the last key is impartation impartation you want to access spiritual empowerment you want to access the anointing you need impartation what is impartation a system of transference of spiritual possibilities impartation is a way to transfer the power of God to transfer the possibilities that are in the Christ through the Holy Spirit to you now here's where I want you to pay attention because we're wrapping up now commanding the supernatural part two we're examining the dynamics of the anointing the necessity for the anointing there are two principal platforms for impartation I want you to learn this now there are two principal platforms for impartation number one you can have an impartation directly from God impartation directly from God an example of this we see is first Kings first Kings chapter 3 when we begin our reading from verse 3 first Kings chapter 3 from verse 3 down to 13 write it for reference please first Kings 3 from verse 3 to 13 this was an encounter that solomon had with god he received the impartation of the grace and the anointing for understanding and wisdom directly from god solomon loved the lord walking in the statutes of his of david his father only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places the king went to gibeon and sacrificed there and he offered the sacrifice upon the altar verse 5 the Bible says God came to Solomon. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, thou hast shown unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness, in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness. Thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. What a good introduction and now O oh Lord my God thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father and I am but a little child I know not how to go out or how to come in and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered or counted for multitude give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge these thy great people every legal practitioner should pray this prayer hearing is a secret to excel in your legal practice this man is praying and saying I need to judge people I need grace from you because these people are great the complications around their lives I need an anointing more than just my technical know-how the Bible says and the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon asked this thing almost there and God said unto him because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for thyself long life do you know that there are graces controlling this long life or ask riches or ask the life of your enemies but you have asked understanding to discern judgment here's what God gave him behold I have done according to thy words I have given thee who gave him God directly I've given you a wise and an understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee neither shall neither after thee shall any rise like unto you last verse and i have also given thee that which thou hast not asked both riches how do you give riches did he give him money so what exactly is riches god is saying i'm giving you something now i'm giving you riches i'm giving you honor so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto you all thy days solomon woke up in the morning and supernatural manifestation of wisdom with wisdom came wealth and every other thing you can receive directly from god number two what is the second platform for receiving impartation 
impartation can come as impartation from the careers of the anointing or the second way you can receive the anointing now is impartation from the careers of the anointing it is true that there are men that carry this anointing in matthew chapter 25 and verse 9 the parable of the ten virgins remember the foolishness of the five virgins they were all virgins so it was not about the issue of being in the fold or not being in the fold their foolishness was because they did not know how to access the anointing here was the recommendation given to them the wise answered saying not so lest there be not enough for us he says but go ye rather to them that sell and buy when it has to do with the anointing there are those who sell the word sell there does not just mean it means exchange there are custodians of the anointing he says if you want the anointing go to them that sell and buy how do you buy it you buy with honor you buy with meekness these are currencies every dimension of anointing you need in your life today believe me there are vessels that carry it bodily right now under a certain condition it can flow freely to you there are three conditions that you must satisfy if you must receive the anointing from careers number one is called genuine connection or genuine followership the first condition you want to receive the anointing from a genuine career of it you need genuine heart-to-heart -heart connection genuine followership as we see in the case of elijah and elisha second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15 just write it for reference second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15 so three conditions if you want to receive impartation from a vessel that has been trusted by god number one is genuine connection number two honor i've taught you here that honor is the key for access honor what is honor the discerning the celebrating and if need be the rewarding of people for their uniqueness genuine connection condition number one honor condition number two number three service service is a jackpot gateway into the anointing now let's look at a few instances of impartation and then we'll be ready to pray numbers chapter 11 we'll read 16 and 17 then we'll go to 24 and 25 this was moses now and the lord said unto moses gather unto me 70 men of the elders of israel whom thou knowest to be elders of the people notice those who were qualified for the impartation he did not gather children and lay hands on them an elder is one who has an advantage of knowledge and if need be experience i'm not saying god cannot anoint children but this is just to draw a lesson from it people who have been worked upon prepared whom thou knowest to be elders of the people and officers over them and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation that they may stand here with thee 17 and i will come down and talk with thee there and i will take of the spirit which is upon thee and i will put it upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee that thou bear it not thyself alone this is what god does not want this already cancels away this obsession for superstar christianity where just one person carries the anointing when you see most men of god stand like superstars they really don't want to be superstars is because most people have not paid the price to be partakers of that grace indeed you're not going to receive an anointing from a man of god with pride and carelessness and lack of discernment everybody who carries anything from god knows that it is the grace of god but believe me there was a price behind it and nobody would throw away anything valuable 
just on the floor are we together but then sadly there are other people who enjoy that obsession and would never give people a chance to partake of that grace isaiah 9 8 remember when he sent a word to jacob it lighted upon israel that means every time god anoints one person it is not just to remain with you you should be a distribution channel so that many other people can partake of that grace let's go back to our scripture where we were reading numbers 11 24 and 25 we have to rush numbers 11 24 and 25 and moses went out and told the people the words of the lord and gathered the 70 men and the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle verse 25 and the lord came down in a cloud and spake unto them and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it to the 70 elders and it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them they prophesied when the spirit rested upon them they prospered when the spirit rested upon them they became wise if the spirit rests upon you something must happen it is impossible the spirit there means the grace the grace cannot come upon you and you remain the same it's impossible when the spirit rested the bible didn't say when the spirit came to rest means you have found a habitation the anointing can come but it may not rest the performance happens for those who allow the anointing to rest genuine connection honor and service last scripture numbers chapter 27 from verse 18 and to 20 oh we are oh we are oh we are oh we are Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom Let your come. Let will be done. Yahweh. 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 Hear me. We have gotten to the crescendo of this service and I want you to be sensitive. Believe me when I tell you, you have come for this service to receive something tonight. Numbers chapter 27 and the Lord said unto Moses take thee Joshua the son of Nun a man in whom the spirit is already on but there are dimensions that are not yet there lay thy hands upon him 19 and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight Verse 20, and thou shalt put some of your honor. You see that honor is a grace. It is transferable. Put some of your honor upon him that all the congregation of the children of Israel might be obedient. If that grace is not on you as a leader, nobody will listen to you. You can be as disciplined as anything, but if that grace is on you, you that your words will fall on deaf ears Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9 Deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 let's read together are we ready inside outside everywhere if you can see it let's read one to read and Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses had laid his hands upon him and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Listen. 
I can tell you at every point and at every junction in my life when what grace and what dimension came to my life I didn't start ministry with every anointing and every God. we are going to pray please even if you have never done it for one minute I want you to cry before the God of heaven this is my season of encounter with unction Lord I open up my spirit go ahead and pray go ahead and pray pray let a man so account of us stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful cry unto God there are ministers who might be watching there are business people there are politicians hallelujah listen listen i knew that i had an apostolic call upon my life but i didn't know that i had the grace this grace they call the kingmaker anointing this is for politics and governance i'm not saying it because i'm, I'm i fear god I'm, I'm not to politics Go and read about Samuel. There are graces you can literally enthrone people. That's what I told you in Koinonia. You don't invite people and say, rich people, come. You make them by the anointing. Can I tell you this? Please do not allow the devil cheat you tonight. I know there are people who say, forget about this man of God. They are, they are all proud people. They all talk nonsense. I beseech you by the message of God. You are not discerning you will pay the price for nothing only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there will be no end hallelujah i remember there was a year this will be about the first time I'm making this kind of statement. There was a year that I had an audience with a particular politician somewhere. And I don't know what they told him about me. We had a nice time and he sat down. I'm not one who will go and start prophesying. I don't do that. It's not. I have an apostolic call. My focus is the edification of the body. And I looked at this man and he wanted to contest for something and honestly it is not pride but in my mind i said oh dear if this man it looked to me like jesus at the well with the samaritan woman i said oh dear the hymn writer said oh what needless pain we bear at the end of it he was just speaking english you know sometimes these are wonderful politicians can be proud people they think every man of god is looking for money and all of that and i was looking he never requested for prayer he never requested for anything he was just making noise and i looked at him and when he finished talking, I told him, I said, I'm sorry, sir, but I want to speak to you. And he was just making a jest and sarcasm. And I said, go and write it. You will win your primaries, but you will never win the election. And he was laughing because it was impossible based on what he wrote. I said, I know you have met men of God who prophesied and spoke because of monies that you gave them. But you will know that there are certain people who are remnants indeed. When this guy won the primaries, he was happy, very sarcastic statement and all of that. And when he lost the election, it was a shock. I remember I went to preach somewhere and they said, ah, the man had I was around, he wanted to see me. I said, please don't bring that person there. No, I don't hate him. I don't fight with anybody. But can I tell you, please don't generalize people. There are people God has honored. 
I'm saying this for a reason. There is human worship. It is wrong. There are men of God who make themselves Alpha and Omega. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. If you have not been anointed to enthrone government and enthrone people and you are just making noise, the disappointment will make the people arrest you one day and lock you because the grace is not on you. But can I tell you, God's system of king, priest, prophet has not failed. There are still men that God has anointed. There are graces that can enthrone. This is not just for politicians. A man overnight, you can send one word. Was it not Elijah who said, by this time? You've heard the testimonies. This is, there's nothing in this ministry that is stage managed. I want you to pray that one prayer. What dimension do you see God lifting you? Pray that the grace and the unction that will make it happen. Just help those under the anointing. Please pray. Believe me, there are mighty angelic activities happening in this place now. Dimensions in ministry. Dimensions in business. Dimensions in governance. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. Please pray. Please pray. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. I want to pray for you now. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe what is coming upon you. You will command the supernatural. As many as we are here, so are our needs. And every dimension requires a grace. Therefore, I stand by the privilege of this election of grace. I stretch my hands from the north to the south. Parash Kadia. I'm telling you, I'm just in fire. This is what I'm seeing. At the count of three, the unction required for the next season of your life. In the name of Jesus, help them please. At the count of three, like fire from heaven, it will come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that, help them please, my God. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace now. Help that woman, please. Take that grace now. Superior anointings. Parike, take a take a Man of God, woman of God, I call for the apostolic. I call for the prophetic. I call for the evangelistic. Receive that grace. Take that unction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those in business. That grace of an entrepreneur. The grace that can subdue systems and structures and give you visibility. May that anointing rest upon you now. May that anointing rest upon you now. The anointing that brings speed into the life of a man. Acceleration is a possibility in this kingdom. Therefore, I stretch my hands may that man to rest upon you now speed in destiny speed in your life help that woman please speed in your life
I want to pray for you. There is an anointing for influence and visibility. You can do all you can and your generation will not know you are there. But there is an unction that can come upon you and cause your voice to be heard. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice and for those who are following and connecting by faith. For some of you, this anointing, you will literally feel something physically coming on you as I'm praying. In the name of the grace for visibility right now, right now, may that unction come upon you. May that unction come May that grace come upon you. Let me pray for everyone here who is part of this spiritual family and you are into politics and governance. The grace that enthrones in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, may that unction rest upon you right now. Marvelously rest upon you right now. Hear me. When it has to do with wealth and abundance, there are principles of productivity, value, exchange, increase, relationships, negotiations, and all these are valid financial principles. But there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. There is wealth that comes from heaven. It said by this time tomorrow, I want to pray for you because for many people and many families this is the area of engracing things have been tied in your life i want you to believe it don't let the devil tell you that there is no prophetic dimension to wealth and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved i pray for you everyone who is in egypt financially hear the word of the lord i prophesy to you come out now come out now come out now the eyes that has refused to see you and favor you i open that eyes to see you The hand that has refused to sarapakatapa whoever is responsible for partnership with the Holy Ghost for your rising by reason of this unction, I declare your rising is confirmed now. Hallelujah. Hear me. There are many of us who desire to walk in signs and wonders, genuine miracles, not fake stage managed miracles, genuine healings, genuine deliverance, genuine signs and wonders. Some of you are here, you are men of God. Some of you, you are here into missions, but it looks like there is no result. Some of you are even pastors and in all honesty, you do not have consistent, predictable, ever increasing results by the privilege of the election of grace i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead step into the realm of the miraculous now the final impartation and we're done see believe me when i tell you honor and favor are real no matter how sincere you are no matter what level of character and integrity you have if you do not have the grace for honor and the grace for favor you will not go far believe me when i tell you this i want to pray that grace upon your life 
it was a grace I pursued with hunger in my heart and when it came I knew it had come take over take over I have come to the end of my son. take over Jehovah I have touched something is happening in this place hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of my soul there is an anointing called the esther anointing it was in 2010 2009 2010 god opened my eyes to this mystery of the esther anointing the grace that can pick you from shushan and put you to sit in the palace i stretch my hands right now may that mantle for honor and favor that came upon hadassah may that grace rest upon you now take that grace now take that grace now the grace that enthroned her man will not stop you in the name of jesus christ From today everything that represents shame an embargo of shame and disappointment over your life I tear it like a veil in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for some of you I prophesy to you between now and Sunday I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare every day of this week will open you up to a new chapter of strange manifestation hear me by reason of this grace you carry there are battles you will not need to fight the jealousy of god will arise and fight it for you where your father could not cross where your mother could not cross hear me what limited your father what limited your mother what limited those who had gone ahead of you i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i scatter it before you right now i scatter it before you right now in the name of jesus christ everybody who has forgotten you because there were demonic manipulations that took you away from their memory they promised they will be there and help you but as it is right now you will pass them and it's as if they are not seeing you go back with this unction this night and watch the wonder walking power of jesus Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave it to the King of Kings. Wave it to Jesus. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Something has come upon your life. You are waving your hands and you are allowing the anointing rest. Oh, hallelujah, we give you praise. Our lives will never be the same. Never be the same. It will be proof that you are a people God has helped and God has blessed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now listen very carefully next week there will be fire from heaven to the earth in this place hallelujah not only because it is a miracle service for the month of February please any point of contact you have your documents court case issues whatever has mocked god this is not idolatry please you can come with it as a point of contact because i'm going to be praying on it this is a year of marvelous life there are some things that must end 
are we together now please be intentional about what i'm telling you and then let me challenge you in writing your prayer request don't be careless if you are a couple for god's sake you try this sit with your spouse or even your children and agree what are we use the power of unity in writing your request and see what god will do most times we just stand husband is doing his own wife you can sit down with god i know the things god has already spoken to me about it and i'll be praying and preparing my spirit there are some things that need to shift are we together please make sure none of your loved ones misses this miracle service and for those who cannot come insist that they connect their documents whatever it is you are having trouble in your place of work it looks like doors are opening or there are patterns in your life and you are already seeing it happen again please write it down with faith in your heart your money is hanging somewhere your spiritual life is going down everything you put your hand to fails write it down let's see the god that answers by fire listen let me tell you god is determined this year more than ever before to give us visitations if our hearts are truly open to receive and for those of you who have traveled from several nations to come here please take this fire by all means back to your regions in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah please let's all stand for the altar call we're a soul winning ministry and we believe that every time we're gathered there will always be someone who needs Jesus desperately we're not ashamed of our love for Jesus he's the basis and the reason for all that we do we've spoken about commanding the supernatural and oh how we desire to see people encounter Jesus you are here under the sound of my voice in the main auditorium all the overflows outside and following from your homes from your offices and you're saying apostle hearing you made me know again that I need Jesus with all my heart and with my everything or you are here you are saying apostle I love Jesus but as it is my life has gone haywire I need to rededicate my life wherever you are we're not going to waste time tonight the holy ghost has already spoken to you i'm going to count five please run like there's fire on the mountain we're out of time i want you to come before jesus christ once i count five i'll begin the prayers all the overflows everywhere please run one let's celebrate them as they come run to jesus let tonight be the beginning of a new season two His ways are superior. Some of you are coming out for the sake of your destiny. In your salvation is the salvation of your family members. In your salvation is the salvation of your loved ones. Are you coming? Please rush. Three. Okay, I'm told if you can, if you are not yet out, you can come with your bags and your Bibles. But if you are out, please, those who are close to them, protect their valuable so that we don't have people picking their things are you still coming apostle i think i'm safe but i'm not really sure join them quickly there is such a thing as the assurance of salvation young and old everyone please come hallelujah may god bless you and i salute every one of you for making this noble decision when it has to do with the matters of salvation there is no shame there is no age there is no gender there is no nothing all it takes is hunger genuine hunger for jesus are we together i salute you it takes a lot of courage it takes discernment to yield to the prompting of the holy spirit i'm still yet to do the last count so if you are here and you still need to join them let's make it fast we're out of time join quickly so that we pray Jesus said, ye must be born again. The new birth is the foundation for the believer's experience. 
now please raise your right hand if you will those in front please do same in all the overflows and you who is lifting your hand in your your home your office your church wherever it is or those who will be following by way of rebroadcast it is an opportunity for you to make Jesus Lord of your life also say this after me let it be a truthful declaration from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I make Jesus Lord of my life I make Jesus Savior of my soul I make Jesus King of my life I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God I am saved washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never and I enjoy the joy of salvation amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones you have brought them to be part of this fold the family of faith I thank you for the power that saves the power that can save even unto the uttermost by the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven and I declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord gives you a new beginning from tonight you begin to walk in the newness of life and you walk in righteousness even forevermore in the name of Jesus you go forward ever and backward never welcome to a new spiritual adventure in the name of Jesus the son of the living God amen and amen thank you very much now very quickly there are counselors waving their hands they are waving the placard at you I'd like you to please move in concert they'll have a word or two with you and then you'll be back to your seat let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah praise the name of the Lord thank you so much for your patience let me reiterate the announcement that um, next week is our miracle service for the month of February hallelujah praise the name of the Lord we hope that by God's grace God will do us good please do well to prepare your spirit you can fast and pray prepare your heart come with your loved ones do the work of an evangelist invite everyone around the city for all who are coming from outside this nation may I please request that as much as possible ex except if you're just coming on your own to be blessed you can do well to reach our PR lines so that they can help um, they can help you with all the logistics around your coming they would link you up with the protocol also praise the name of the Lord and let's do well to come on time so that we can start and trust God for a mighty manifestation of his presence and please let me encourage because of the the uh, you know the volume of people and all of that please cooperate with the ushers the protocol the security is usually really very overwhelming for them so please cooperate with them we we'll do well to make sure that everyone is comfortable and um, when they give any security instructions please it is for our own good may I request that we do well to comply instructions from parking arrangements to the logistics of our sitting and all other things please work with them so that God will help us in the name of Jesus and then if any if any international guest or any delegate is coming through you please do well to help them do not just allow them to be frustrated around the airport or just leave them to people here you know and and let me say this I know that there are people who help to facilitate things like hotel services and all of that provided you are doing what you are doing with integrity that's fine but please let us not hear that you are scamming anybody I'm not saying it just for you but maybe people around us let's put a watchful eye on people to make sure that our guests do not have a nasty experience as they prepare to come so any family that is hosting any international guests please may I request take responsibility over their welfare and their stay if you need any information you can do well to reach our public relations department and the Lord will bless you I believe that it will be a, a wonderful time the, the number is for our public relations department is on the screen 
please do well to have it you can go to their desk the help desk is just out of this outside this auditorium they would furnish you with the information for our protocol department and our security department then let me encourage us please um, do well to give people access uh, connect them to these teachings on our social media platforms especially the YouTube page Koinonia Global so that they can listen and then you listen yourself for the purpose of edification don't just share to people but you to listen I listen to all these teachings myself to be blessed not just to hear what I said I listen to receive and to be blessed let's be thorough students of knowledge and the Lord will help us in Jesus name have you been blessed tonight please rise up on your feet as we share the grace when we share the grace do well to say hi to someone on your way out and please be orderly so that you do not hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you